mommy kissing. All right, guys. So this is Holy Mike at EPG Gaming Studios. Now we're here to look at how Cyberpunk is Cyberpunk 2077 in 2023. Now, well, a lot of you guys, well, well. Well, a lot of you guys think, uh, you've been on YouTube, a lot of people like, Cyberpunk 2077 is taking a big, big turn, or Cyberpunk 2077 did this, or Cyberpunk 2077 did that. What I don't think you guys will understand, I just, okay, so I'm about to do a full walkthrough on the PC, on RTX, 8K, vi uh, video, uh, video things, right? Now, with that being said is, It is not as much better. Even the cutscenes have been so glitched out. The uh, the NPCs had their hands sticking out and legs sticking out, and and you will see that when the watchers come out. And what I'm not understanding here is that people on YouTube are like, "Oh, the game has made a major comeback with this update or this and this and that." Or, and I'm like, "Uh, I, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing where." I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing where this is coming from. I'm looking all over the place. I'm not seeing anything at all. And I just don't know what people are thinking. But anyway, let me just tell you my experience so far, right? I'm about four hours in the game and here's what I got. Okay. Number one, the game is extremely, 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 extremely tons of bugs. Now the game is playable. I will say that which is how it used to be when it first came out. The game was not playable. It is playable now. So I am able to actually play to the game without any problems. Now again, I'm only four hours in. So that's that may that may change. But as of now, the game is fully, fully playable as of now. Now, there's no traffic in the game. The game does not feel alive at all whatsoever game just feels like you know the game feels like it's just like a how do i put this it feels like an empty sandbox like I, I, i'm the only living character in the game except for the other main npcs in the game now the npcs do not respond well the police don't even respond well like if you are shooting at the police the police might just forget who you are and just walk away it's extremely weird and then i've noticed that the freaking um the quality of different like items if a person walks by you, they become so like bugged out, it's not even funny. Now I'm running a max settings. I did not have any weird frame drops and my PC is really one of the advanced PCs. So all these weird glitches like with trees and everything else. I'm just like, what in the world is going on? I don't I don't underst quite understand and like I had issues with clothes removing and all kinds of things. Now what and this is in twenty twenty three, right? So, you know, you have people in the comment, oh, a new update came out. You know, like, uh, the game is really taking a big turn and big update, guys. I'm in the latest patch of this game and it's it extremely bad. Now, what? New Ordinary Gamer. The new Ordinary Gamer is pointing out is that the reason why they had to cut all the feed of the actual cars driving by is because of. Uh, the game does not have a good managing RAM system, so it's not even about the quality of the console. It's just the type of managing system that they have is just not good enough to be able to handle everything. So it just we, they just removed all traffic instead of fixing it. They removed all traffic, right? Now this game is sad in that instant. I'm having fun with it. I'm having fun with it. And I'm having a lot of fun with it. But the thing is, is that it's just because of how sad it is, is with those issues, and I just want to get those things taken care of. Now, if you guys go ahead and um, um, like and subscribe and comment below how Cyberpunk 27 is going your uh, 2023, or even if you haven't had time to play, have you played in 2022? What did you think of the game, guys? And just comment below how things are going with the game. And yeah, and this is Holy Mike at EPG Studio signing out. Have a good one, guys. I appreciate you guys on at the channel. And I just love talking about gaming, guys. So thank you. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.